The province of Pangasinan is the third largest in the whole Philippine archipelago, located at the west central area of the island of Luzon. It is blessed with a panorama of natural and cultural attractions, boasting stretches of white sand beaches, cascading waterfalls, caves and various historical sites. 75% of existing major tourist destinations are located in Opal member localities. The Hundred Islands National Park in Alamina City is a major strength of Opal because it is an established tourist destination. Tourism sites in other Opal areas can use this as a springboard to gain popularity and attract visitors. Salaminos is the home of the world famous Hundred Islands National Park. The very first marine park in the Republic of the Philippines. And uh, we are now directly managing it and we're happy with the fact that uh, the number of tourists coming to the Hundred Islands have increased in the last five years. Well, uh, in the experience of Alaminos today, the tourism industry is contributing a lot in terms of direct income to the city government. Uh, and for the first time, uh, it is contributing directly uh, in terms of income. Uh, last year, I think we, we were able to generate at least 8 million pesos uh, from out of the ticket sales just to go and see the Hundred Islands National Park. The Hundred Islands is not enough and there are many other uh, beautiful destinations within the Opal district. The Bani Bird Sanctuary, uh, in relation to its importance in Lingayen Gulf, is that uh, it served as the uh, habitat and breeding ground of crustaceans and other marine species. Because it was located uh, at the mouth of two big rivers, the Alaminos River and the Great Bani River. And because the mangrove was developed and the program was started as early as 1980s. The improvement of tourism facilities around the Bangreen Marine Protected Area is seen to be a vital move of the LGU to increase the influx of bird watchers and wildlife enthusiasts from around the globe. Uh, marami dyan ang gray heron, yung intermediate heron, uh, little heron, intermediate egret, yung mga stilt. Pwede naman po kayong mag uh, bird watching uh, by means of uh, binocular or, or telescope dito sa may boardwalk o kaya doon sa coast west station. Uh, yung mga iba natutulog pa dito kasi inaabangan nila yung paglipad ng mga ibon sa umaga. Uh, mostly ang aming visitors ay uh, local at uh, meron din mga for, uh, foreigners. Uh, sa isang taon nakaka 100 to 300 visitors kami. Uh, meron kami sinisingil na entrance fee at 20 pesos per person. Pero pag estudyante po, pupil ay 10 pesos per person. Isa to ng 1990s, nung 1 hectare na lang ang natira sa mangrove namin. 
ang DNR nagbigay sa amin ng fund, grant, para ma rehabilitate itong aming mangrove forest. Nung nag-mayor na si Mayor Marcelo Navarro Sr., siya yung nag-develop nito. Nakita nga niya, wala nang natira. Tapos, uh, environmentalist siya kasi. Mayroon kaming Bangrin Marine Protected Area uh, plan. Uh, included doon sa plan is ecotourism. Yun nga yung pag-develop nitong boardwalk, yung mga facilities such as yung procurement of appreciation boats, yung construction of paddle boats, nakapaloob lahat doon. Uh, kaya mayroon po kaming pundo na inilala, uh, binigay po ng ibang uh, agencies, gaya ng mga NGOs noon sa Sagiplingin Gulf, ganyan din sa Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, ang DNR, na siya po namin katulong dito sa uh, LGU uh, Bani para magganon ay ma-promote at kaya ma-develop yung area. So, hindi namin kaya po dito sa Bani kung kami-kami lang. Nangangailangan po kami ng NGO, nangangailangan po kami ng mga national government agencies, private sectors din, uh, POs, na uh, talagang collaboration effort ito. The Fisher Folks Associations are also active in the management of the mangroves. Ang major ko dito kasi ako yung head ng bantay dagat sa aming pagbabantay dito na sa protected area. Hindi lang sa protected area kundi rin sa aming kailogan. Dito sa Tambakbe at sa Kama, sa Riperin. Kung paano namin masuportaan yung mga nag-illegal na kumagawa ng hindi matama sa pag-uli at paglalambat lalo na sa mga pine mist na ginagamit nila at lalo na yung mga hindi lisensyado na mist na ginagamit sa pag-uli. Both men and women participate in the various conservation and tourist hosting activities. Kasali din sila ito nagtatanim, pero pag gumagawa kami sa boardwalk, hindi sila kasali. Kasi hindi naman naaangkop sila sa ganitong gawain, lalo na doon sa teaching doon sa, sa Heron Boulevard at sa Kawaldak. Itong pagtatanim, pag, pagpupunla, yun, kasali sila ng mga PO. Kung meron kami naman na ay, mga babae kasali, pero pag meron kaming nagawa na bisita kami dito, may catering kami, babae ang nauna, hindi wala naman kami, out naman kami doon na lalaki. Kasi ito ay very young na ecotourism facility area, ano kaya ma pwede pang i-improve itong boardwalking kung saan, kung saan dapat dito ay concrete na yung boardwalk. No, yung uh, yung uh, pavilion namin o kaya coast watch namin ay uh, na, nasira noong bagyong Emong uh, that is at year 2009 ay pwedeng pwedeng i-renovate pa yon para maka-attract ng tourist dapat ipinta mo na rin yung yung uh, uh, coast watch station na yan at saka more flyers ganon uh, more IEC materials to be distributed to visitors para ganon ay maka-attract ng mga turista pang the nets and fences need regular maintenance, especially because Bani is at high risk to typhoons. More tour guiding modules will prepare the community members of possible livelihood. The number of boats coming in and out of the protected area should be regulated to avoid putting the birds and marine life at risk. Other attractions of the municipality may be packaged together with bird watching for a complete one or two day tour. Pero ang isang nakikita po namin mga oportunidad ng private sector doon sa pagpunta po ay eh, pag-asikaso po ng mga tour packages at saka yung mga additional services na pwede pong i-offer -offer sa mga turista na ngayon po ay hindi pa nangyayari po sa amin. Kaya hindi pa po nakokomersyal yung pagpunta po ron. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan dito sa aming bayan ng Bani, Pangasinan upang makita po ninyo ang kagandahan ng lugar po namin. Maraming salamat po. Iniimbitahan ko kayo dito sa Bangrin Marine Protected Area, one of the bird watching sites sa Pilipinas. Uh, makikita nyo po rito ang 10 mangrove species at 53 species of birds na may enjoy nyo pagka kayo ay pumasok sa loob ng aming forest. To all of you tourists uh, who, ca who happens to come to the Philippines for other areas, we invite you here at Barin, Bangrin Marine Protected Area here in Bani. It is uh, 270 kilometers away from Manila, a six-hour ride. And from the town of Bani up to here, it is 45 uh, minutes uh, uh, transportation using uh, 
land transportation and motor boats. So uh, we can accompany you to the place. We have tour guides here in the place. Uh, we are offering also lodging in the area, but it's limited, uh, up to five person only, where you can uh, pay uh, 100 pesos to the uh, people's organization manning the area.